And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures today got up once again above the freezing mark and we continue to see the stretch on and off most of the days on throughout uh, across Midwest areas. But we are going to see milder weather tomorrow. You see some of these values getting up towards let's say 50 degrees in Bismarck. A warm front is heading in our way and we will see some temps, something that we haven't seen in almost a month. Started off today a little bit misty out there, but then as we went into the afternoon, some peaks of sunshine and that's a little taste on what we will see see as we go into the next couple of days. Right now it is 35 degrees outside. We've got winds out of the west and southwest at 7. Dew point, or I should say a wind chill down to 29 because of that light wind. Now the winds, they're going to start to pick up a lot more overnight and especially during the day tomorrow and tomorrow night as that warm front lifts northward and ushers in some milder temperatures. Tem right now, 34 in Clintonville. We got 37 in Shano, 31 in Anago, 34 in Sheboygan. We also have uh, 35 in Oshkosh and Sturgeon Bay. Winds coming in out of the west, but it's now starting to turn a little bit out of the southwest. So that's going to start to keep us relatively mild overnight tonight. But with that warm front that's moving in, we will see a little bit of some light snow and perhaps a little drizzle or freezing drizzle. A lot of this is evaporating before reaching the ground as we have some dry air in place, but some locations if we get a little burst that'll allow that moisture to reach the ground. That's why we're keeping the chance of a few flurries drizzle overnight. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but then behind it, that's where the warm air is right on the uh, southern section of this low pressure system. That's going to lift northward, but then a cold front quickly moves in tomorrow night, so it's going to be a bit one and done. Friday's or Monday's high temperature still be pretty mild, just not as warm as what we will see for tomorrow. For the rest of tonight, a few flurries, drizzle possible. Most of us seeing mostly cloudy skies. Then as we get into the day for tomorrow, the clouds start to erode. Now the question remains, how quickly will this low lying, lying cloud cover, which we have dealt with for day and day out, how quick will that erode? If it erodes quicker in the uh, mid-morning hours, then we'll see sunshine, and that'll really allow us to warm up into the mid and upper 40s. If the low-level clouds stick around for most of the day for tomorrow, then we'll see more so lower 40s. I'm thinking we're seeing mid-40s for the afternoon. As we get into Monday, starting off sunny as well, but then the clouds start to build in here later in the evening. 28 for an overnight low temperature. Winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. A few flurries, a little bit of drizzle overnight. Tomorrow we see a high near 46. Winds breezy, 10 to 20 gusts near 30 miles per hour. Uh, actually, White Christmas, Seth, let's skip that. <laughs> we were clearly after White Christmas. Uh, 35 for a uh, high temperature on Monday, 27 for a high on Tuesdays. You see how those temperatures start to drop down as we get towards uh, Wednesday and Thursday. But then we start to warm back up towards Friday. I think what I was wanting to do, Ryan, was that instead of the White Christmas stat, I was going to have a stat graphic showing every single day that we've had so far of 40 degree weather, mm -hmm. which now I guess I might show to the end forecast. All right, we'll see that later then. Yeah, there you go. All right, thanks, Gino. Stay with